the door now. Oh. <laughs> We're talking about, don't awe oh, her. <laughs> uh, right, it is the bitchiest house since records began, but can true BFFs really blossom in the bungalow? We put Siobhan to the test. Hello, I'm Ale uh, Sorry, I'm Jamie East, and welcome to another best mate or housemate. Uh, so I'm here, being Jamie East, just doing my usual Jamie East thing, asking questions in my trademark Jamie East style. So, oh, do you know what? Forget this. I'm not Jamie. I'm Alice. And sorry to his fan club, but he's not here. I'm just taking over for today. <laughs> She's checked herself, wrecked herself, put it in a post box and sent it to Jumanji. Of course, it's Siobhan. She's chosen Ashley as her best friend. So let's chuck a few questions at her. If she succeeds, well done. If she doesn't, she faces the age-old punishment of a pie in the face. And just to help her face her fear of clowns, hers has a big smiling one. Has Ashley ever crapped her pants? Did she get... No, no, um, no, no, no. That she never has. Okay. You don't know her well at all. Her she answer was. Her pants. Oh yeah. She's pooed her <laughs> pants. She's actually pooed her pants. She's pooed her little <gasps> pants. Ashley. Oh, was she sober? What would Ashley's porn star name be? A. Sexy Essex. B. Sexly. C. Fuck me. I'm fucking great. So I think it's between B and C. I'm gonna guess. I'm clearly getting flanned. I'm gonna guess C. C. Are you joking? B. C. C. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so so good at this. Family, I'm fucking great. <laughs> she would so say that. Yay. Who is Ashley's celebrity crush? If you don't get this, oh, you deserve to just have no, to. No, I'm gonna flam myself, babe. I'm Justin Bieber. I can't believe she's pooed herself. I can't move on. <laughs> I'm still, I need to talk to her parents. What happened? What night and who was she with? How drunk would she get to shit her pants? <laughs> no, okay. Oh. oh God, I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> what are Ashley's views on the current financial climate? A, she doesn't care. B, she's very worried. C, she feels it's an inevitable result of three decades of corporate slanted policy making and would advise a complete rethink of governmental strategy. B, no, A. A, B? B. B? A. B or A? B. B? B. The answer was A. Um, <laughs> I don't like this game, I'm losing. You can claw it back, come on. Okay, okay. On a scale of one to 10, how does Ashley rate herself in bed? Oh, 20. What are the options? One to ten. Twenty. Very much one to ten. Just discard twenty. <laughs> I'm just like twenty. No, ten. Definitely ten. Okay, her answer was I fucking know I'm the best. Ten. Oh, she is. In the oh, bag. She is. Do you want one more look? No. Just a little. I'm starting to fancy him. Oh, the more I look at him, I'm like, oh, he's quite hot. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, okay. how did Ashley rate her chances of faking a romance to get more airtime? Oh, one to ten. Uh Zero. It's not technically in one to ten. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you out with that. <laughs> Two. Two? You're so close. It was three. <gasps> she said, if I like someone, I like them. Yum. Which is, bodes quite well for her. That's nice. She's an honest person. Doesn't bode that well for you. Yes. You have proven yourself to be a fountain of knowledge, but I still think you need to get over your phobia of clowns. So this is for your own good, okay? Okay. Okay. Just give him a little kiss. Oh no, because then you're going to push it in my face. Give me a little kiss. You've got a little okay. bit just here. Oh. <laughs> oh, what good sport. What good sport she is. So earlier on, we saw the slightly awkward moment when housemates were forced to nominate in front of each other. Here to help us understand their body language is our expert, Judy James. <laughs> Judy, let's get down to body business. Um, we should start with Lauren, cos she yes. received the most nominations at seven. Let's have a look at what happened. Lauren. First nomination is Lauren. Lauren. My first nomination is Lauren. My first nomination is Lauren. My second nomination is Lauren. Mm. She's 
took a real drubbing, didn't she? She tired, yeah. I mean, it's it's brutal at the best of times, isn't it? But doing it face to face and hearing reasons. I mean, some people tried to be slightly kinder, I think, than others. Yeah. But what do you make of her reaction there through her body language? It, did you see she was self-diminishing? She got smaller. Mm. She was like a little nail bin driven into the ground, wasn't she? She got tinier and tinier. Um, and a bit like, yeah, come on, hit me with yeah. it. Yeah, what's going to happen she, next? She, <laughs> you could see in her eyes at the start, I think she was almost expecting it, but maybe not that comprehensive. There's two sets of signals coming from her, though, and I think we need to watch this space. On the one hand, she goes into compliant child. You can see her. She looks very sad, quite right. tearful, self-hugging, as I say, getting smaller. But she's also got this kind of rebellious child thing going on, where she starts after a while. I don't know if you saw, she started biting out her nails and chewing the inside of her mouth. And that's a self-attack in animal terms. That would be an animal that is planning a fight back. So I think she might... So maybe she's trying to suppress her anger yeah. so that everybody doesn't see it. Do you think she's um, trying not to cry as well, maybe? She was doing that as well, but, you know, it's almost a flip of a coin for her. But I think, for my money, she's, she's a fighter, she's a little warrior, and I think um, she, she'll fight her way back out. What about, she did a little bit of rocking, we saw. The rocking, that was part of... The, <laughs> it was quite worrying, actually. Um, that's actually part of the distress signals going on there. So she's got a very vulnerable side. OK. So what... what what are we going to see from her for the coming week, do you think? Will we see a tougher Lauren or, you know, will we see her fight back and, you know, as Siobhan said, you know, watch this space because, you know, she'll, she'll kind of show everybody what she is about. I think she's got nothing to lose now. I mean, there's not even any point in her ingratiating herself. It's not going to happen, is it? And she's still got... Adam is still, in a way, I mean, he's the sort of um, wannabe alpha. And she and gets... kind of her protector. He really does look after her, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think it almost works both ways, isn't it? She's like his Lady Macbeth, though, isn't she? She sort of revs him up to do things. But, I, I, yeah, I, she gets power by proxy from him, so I think it could be a little bit of a standoff. What do you between... make of their relationship? It, I, oh, she just flirts like crazy, doesn't it? Oh, look at me, I'm doing the splits, you know, the poor girl. In your direction! <laughs> I, she just keeps doing this constant flirting. It's not going to go anywhere. I think he realises that as well. It's quite amusing, but, I mean, again, that's pseudo-sexual, remotivational yeah. technique, so it keeps him sort of reasonably happy and on her side, but yeah. she backs away. He seems to kind of know where he stands to a certain extent with her, I he think. He knows the boundaries, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, OK, we've got to move on to somebody who just... Um, I'm fascinated by it and slightly baffled at the same time, and that's Caroline. Caroline Let's take yeah. a look at her nominating. Caroline, <laughs> can you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Um, Luke, I just think you think I'm, like, ridiculous, immature, childish, overdramatic. Can't even look at you in the eyes. Um, Lauren, we, I've tried so hard with you, but you just are never going to like me, but it's usually just at, sort of, yeah. My first nomination is Caroline. I just feel like you have a little temper tantrum and then yeah. people, you apologise and then everyone's supposed to exp like, think it's OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she obviously didn't look very happy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like what I'm hearing here, but yeah. So what, what do you get from her there? Her Achilles heel is that she actually wants to be liked. And so when she stood up to nominate, she was the only one that did pseudo-infantile. She did very childlike displays. She giggled, she did hand-wringing, her hat came down over her eyes, um, she brought her cards up, and that's the whole thing to be rather cute. So what she's saying is, don't attack me for attacking you. Yeah. And that makes her a very difficult target, in actual fact. She does it a lot. She'll attack people, but when they stand up to her, she suddenly goes, oh, I'm just a child, I'm just a child. But when she was being uh, nominated herself, she kept rubbing her lips all the time. And what does that mean? That means that when she's under attack, she does it as a self-comfort. It's, um, it's almost relevant to somebody sucking their thumb. It, it reminds them of suckling. It's uh, back to right. babyhood again. OK. Uh, this makes her very difficult to deal with. It, it's quite... It, uh, one reason why I'm, I, I'm quite intrigued by her is, we, as you say, we saw quite a childlike figure from her there but when she's in the diary room nominating it's a very different yeah. thing with her yeah. because she's very straight down the line she tells you exactly what she thinks she's very articulate she mm. will reel off a list of words to describe how she feels about somebody all normally quite negative mm. yet there it was the polar opposite yeah and that's because they've got the power to attack her. I mean, she's safe in the diary room. The big thing with Caroline is that she does so much bitching. I mean, it's industrial strength bitching, but I don't think she does it, does it particularly. <laughs> um, she's, she, 
she's, she's actually doing it to ingratiate. I think this is something she probably did at school. She does it to make friends. I think she thinks it's the only way that she can get people's attention. I don't think she's necessarily doing it as a campaign particularly. I think for her, um, if, if she keeps, it's called bond bitching. So you right. know, she gets people's attention, they all sit around her bed, they all join in. So it makes her popular, okay. strangely. But then if it turns against her, obviously uh, it goes the other way. Uh, Judy, I wish I could ask you the other ten questions we have for you, but we've totally run out of time because <laughs> I just love chatting to you. Uh, Judy James, everybody. <laughs> so, I am sure that you lot have loads to say. So, Otis, are you ready? Yes, I am. And for one night only, you get to ring my bell, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Let's just get straight to it. Who's our first caller? We've got Diana from Leicestershire. Diana from Leicestershire. OK, Diana, get it off your chest. Hello, Mr Dealey. Hello. <laughs> How lovely to see you. Oh, I'm bored with Jamie and you're just such a lovely sight. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Anyway, I've been a, a Big Brother addict for a lot of years and I absolutely adore <laughs> it on the side. Now, really I'm really win. upset about tonight because, Luke A, I really wanted him to win. I'm a fan Bless of Luke his A. Little heart. Yeah. Yeah, I want him to win because I know he wants the money for his operation and he is such a lovely guy. Absolutely super guy. Right. Well, as it's not Caroline and Becky, which I really hoped it would be because they deserve it, yeah, how about a secret task of... Perhaps having them to say nice things to everybody for two whole days. I like that. I, I, I didn't even ask for it. You just volunteered it. That's great. I think that's brilliant. I think, you know, I could just visualise them. <laughs> Diana, thanks for your um, uh, contribution and your suggestions, actually. I'll, uh, I'm going to make a quick note of those and uh, I'll pass them on. Hold on, look. Thank you. OK, who we got next? We've got Jacqueline Say from Devon. nice things to Hello, everyone. Otis. Hello, Jacqueline! <laughs> Hello, Otis. How are you? I'm fine. I'm talking to you about Luke S. I've got a real crush on him. Why? I don't know. I've got this thing about men with red hair. Oh, so, so it's not the muscles, then? Well, a bit like that, because I go to the gym as well. Oh, you got muscles like him? No, I haven't got quite. I'm learning. You're learning. You're getting yeah. there. Yeah. OK, so you, you like him because he's got red hair. Do you have designs on red-haired babies or anything like that? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Right. I'd like, I'd, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know if anything will happen in the future, but never I would like never. a date with uh, Luke S. Oh, OK. Well, um, I might as well make a note of that as well, seeing as I'm doing people's favours. Jacqueline, thanks very much for your call and uh, keep your fingers crossed. All right, thanks a lot, Otis. <laughs> You're more than welcome. OK, uh, who's our third caller? We've got Nikki from Kent. All right, Nikki from Kent. Hi, Otis. How are you, Nikki? Hi, I'm really peed off tonight. Really? Who's yeah, peeing you I'm... off? Um, Becky and Connor, they're really peeing me off. I wanted them up and I wanted Luke or Lauren to win. Oh, Becky right. such a two-faced... Bitch, I can't believe it. Yeah. She yeah. crawls right up on us off yeah. with Caroline. Yeah. yeah. And I cannot believe how they're all being sucked into her. She's such a greedy chair as well. Isn't she? She <laughs> mixed up all the wine and drank it. What is it? She's a... so greedy. What is it about Connor you don't like? Connor? Oh, give me 24 hours. To we get don't have. With Connor. He is so horrible. He's, he's horrible to everybody in there. I don't like him, but Becky, I liked her at first, but I can't believe how she's turncoat on everybody. She switched, doesn't she? She really has. She Thank has you. switched. Yeah, I can't she has. Her. I just she, said she'd switch. She was really switch. fun when she first went in. And as for Caroline, well, I can do Caroline. Right. Yeah, too. Nick, we can't go through all of them, sweetheart, but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for your, thank you very much for your call. I do my impression she's of still Caroline. there. She's still there. <laughs> You meant to cut him off after a while, eh? Right, have we got time for one more call? Ah, oh, that was it. I was having so much fun. Now, remember, if you want to let Jamie hear what you've got on your mind, you can, of course, call the number that's on your screens. But for now, that's it from in here. Thank you, Brilliant. Emma. Brilliant. Oh, Otis, you get all the good ones. Uh, right, still to come, Jodie Marsh watches telly in the reality gallery, and I exclusively reveal what One Direction think of the series so far.